This is Gary Atensa with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. I'm here with Brooks Building Technology Advisors. Since 2021, they have helped multifamily successfully implement low voltage building technology systems, providing the technology you want and the security you need. I'm joined here with the founder, Clayton Spencer. Thanks so much for joining us here today. Thank you very much. I'm going to start off a little bit about yourself. Um, you're a native of Colorado, formerly educated here in the state of Colorado as well. Your experience in the satellite industry, as well as consulting and design, has led you here today as the managing principal for Brooks. Share with me a little bit how this company got started for you. So it's been um, really over about 14 years um, working at a big telecom provider here in Colorado. Um, we. You know, I oversaw the commercial department for them, and that's how I got involved in the multifamily world. And, and many years of working in that, seeing issues um, and coordination issues when it comes down um, to be a service provider, we, uh, you know, it kind of just really grew from there. I then um, went in and had an opportunity to work for an actual consulting company that um, really set the foundation for what I do today. And you built, the, up, built up relationships throughout the years, I imagine. Correct, yeah. A lot of the relationships I had at that you know, provider, I have been able to build up and you know continue on those relationships over the years and grow. And it's been huge on just my vision um, for the company and using some of our, our clients as you know, the, you know, the kind of guinea pig yeah. of something that we think the, the industry needs. Um, and so our clients and our, that relationship has been um, a huge success for us and instrumental to where we are at today. That is excellent. I mean, you have been in the multifamily and hospitality industry for really more than a decade. So let's begin with educating the viewers out there. What is a building technology advisor? Kind of break that down for them. Yeah, so what we specialize in is items like access control, video surveillance, um, audio visual, um, yeah. down to property technology. So we focus mainly on you know the, the multifamily world. That's our niche. So um, anything to you know package room solutions, um, smart buildings, yeah. um, you know stuff that's IoT. Anything that's really that technology piece that goes into these multifamily um, properties are, are what we specialize in, and we're here to assist our clients because yeah I mean every building behind those walls things are hidden that we don't even realize I mean you specialize in multifamily developments renovations um, obviously all of us are familiar with smart homes are the smart building solutions even more complex because you're dealing with multifamilies multi areas and all in one building correct they're they're very complex, and and that's why you know our clients and these developers and owners need a company like Brooks because it's so hard to understand everything that goes into these buildings. Um, you know, it's we kind of talk about it's a big puzzle, and you have all these different contractors that might touch a little bit of something. You have the electrician, you have the access control, yeah. the security guys, the IT. All these people need something, um, and they need somebody that can at least talk the language. Um, to oversee and put this puzzle together so when they go to open this project and open that building to the public, things function. Um, you know, that they can sit there and continue to make money and, and bring in new clientele and um, people want to come back. They want to release. They're sure. not just there for one year and then out because you don't have cell phone signal, yeah. signal you know, items like that. Excellent. I mean, from multifamily apartments to hotels to even uh, international airports, does much of your work begin in the pre-construction phase? And is that where you consult not only with the owners, but even the general contractors as well? Yeah. Ideally, yes. Um, we want to be involved in the SD phase, okay. which is the kind of schematic um, phase of the project. In a perfect world. In a perfect world. Um, it's not like that all the time. Yeah. Um, you know, low voltage has been kind of forgotten about many times. Right. Um, and so we're brought in way too late when the budget's not there. But in an ideal world, we want to be brought in early so we can make sure the infrastructure is there, so we can make sure, you know, the ownership has um, the budget, you know, so that the, yeah. the technology they want and need, that they can actually have the funds to build this and implement this into the So building. it doesn't just end up being wires going somewhere and we never could finish it. <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah. If you don't have the money for it. You know, or it wasn't you know, truly thought out and coordinated with 
the rest of the design team, the MEP firms, um, landscape and architectural and all those guys. Let's touch on a few, a uh, little bit of this technology. Um, these are low voltage systems. Um, explain what that is. Uh, why are they called low voltage and is, how does that differ from other cabling that's run? So low voltage just means um, if you touch it, you're not going to get electrocuted and die. I'm going to die. Basically. <laughs> so, okay. that's a, okay. um, so it's not, you know, you have electrical low voltage, um, but that's in a different realm. So we're talking about data cabling. Okay. You know, you're talking about internet. Um, power over ethernet, um, you know, some stuff that's really not going to shock and harm people. Um, but that's really where all the technology, that's the IoT devices, uh -huh. that's where everything is in. Something we may do it as a do-it-yourself or in a small apartment, but you definitely wouldn't do that in a building, um, going in and doing all this type of thing. So video surveillance, cabling, be it voice, data, video, um, even Wi-Fi. These are areas that you ensure the project really goes as planned. Correct. Yeah, and, and Wi-Fi is probably one of the biggest ones. So okay. as we have seen now, you know, Wi-Fi is really what we call that fourth utility. Um, it's no longer just, you know, gas, electric, and water. Um, Wi-Fi is just as important, if right. not yeah. more important. Might um, be more so. <laughs> oh, it's, it is. I mean, you look at hospitality and you look at the Generation Z that's coming in. These are people who have never not been connected. Yeah. And so they're coming in, you know, into student housing buildings or coming into, you know, their first apartment. They expect things to work by a push of the button, period. Period. I mean, that's plain and simple. I mean, depending on the time of year, if it's cold outside, the heat goes up, I can put on a jacket, but don't disconnect into the world, oh, right? 100%, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With projects this complex and big, I imagine opening on time and within budget is critical. Explain why that is. So, I mean, if you can think of it, you know, these developers are typically, you know, there could be a $100 million project. Um, and so when we, the low voltage side is always usually the, the last piece that's actually implemented. It's installed right at the very end, um, where majority of the bigger contractors, they've already done their work. They're, you know, they're gone. And so any delays like that usually come down and fall into the very end on the low voltage. Um, well, you can't open a building if you don't have your phone lines. You know, you have to have emergency lines. So if the internet provider is not active in time and has everything that they have, you're not opening a building. Oh. So, you know, you're looking at a 100 units and your rent is $2,500 a month and you can't open up for a month, that's a lot of lost revenue right away. Definitely affects the bottom line rather quickly. Yes, yep, very quickly. Because delays are costly and change orders can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, how important is it that you get it planned and executed right the first time? I mean, for us, we believe that's the biggest I and mean, the most important thing for us. Um, and it's, we believe that's where our sweet spot is, is our pre-construction. Um, something that is unique for us that kind of sets us apart. You know, there's a lot of um, design and consulting firms out there. Um, but we're unique with our ability on the construction project management. So not only do we consult and design, but you know, stepping in and helping these owners clearly identify the cost of the technology, the security, um, you know, what they truly want. Um, and, and through that whole process as well, it's not even you know, the, the, what they want and the cost, but it's making sure that there's no gaps, that there's something that's not missed. Um, because if you can give a predictable functionality yeah. to an owner, they're going to, you know, fall asleep better at nighttime. They know it's going to, it should cost this much. Now you're always going to have, you know, delays. You're always going to have change orders because it's construction. Sure, it's always going to. But if you can prevent um, any, you know, unpredictable one, like the really large items. I mean, it's, it's, it's priceless. It's, it really priceless. is priceless. Like speaking of sleeping at night, I mean, be it audio-visual systems throughout an entire building to entry systems to smart units that control the environment, you provide a start-to-finish approach without the added stress. I mean, is that always a goal for you guys? Correct. Yeah. Our, our goal is to relieve stress. Our goal is to be that additional insurance you know, for our owners and our developers. Um, them knowing that they have truly someone on their team that is there for them. You know, we're not there for, I mean, we're there for the contractors. We want them to be successful, but we're really there for our ownerships and our partnerships um, with them 
so they can continue to develop these, these buildings. It's, as we know, it's hard enough to develop and get funding for these buildings. The last thing these owners really need to you know, lose sleep over is, hey, did my security guy get this lock installed in time? Um, does my Wi-Fi actually connect? Is my leasing office, do they have all the information they need to get everything going? If that's all cleared and they just need to worry about you know, releasing the building, um, then it's, it's great for them. And it's that is great. I mean, I can definitely see the priority and why you feel you should be at the front end and not the back end Correct. of the situation because we all know if the windows aren't in, you can't open this building. But like you said, if the Wi Fi is not hooked up, we can't open. If security is not in place, we can't open. So those are really vital. I mean, you have developed this turnkey approach over the past 14 years. You are a team of experts who are consultants really at your core. You've been there, you've done that. Um, is providing a predictable outcome for your clients rewarding work for you. Oh yeah, I mean that's what I mean I think keeps me excited every single day. Um, you know it's it's a very it's hard because there's it's so much going on, there's so much technology um, and it's stressful but it makes me excited that we have something that I truly believe the industry needs and I really think you know we're at a very pivotal moment in the construction industry um, with data and with technology um, that ownerships and you know construction teams they need to start changing they need to start bringing in teams like us that can really help them be successful in what they do best it's challenging for you as being the professional, so it's downright stressful for anybody else yep. because you guys have done that. You've gone through it before. That's excellent. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. Um, you can see all the service they provide right there. Take a look at the many projects that they've been entrusted with right there on their website. I mean, if you're looking for a true technology partner that can help you remove confusion and provide a predictable outcome from concept to design through construction, I mean, look no further and reach out today. Once again, that is Brooks Building Technology Advisors, open on time, within budget, and without added stress. This is Gary Atensu with CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know.